What's going on Disc Nation? This is Ken here to give you a tour of the disc golf course at Benicia Community Park. Uh, Benicia Community Park is a great park for human and dogs alike. Uh, it's got uh, one of the only roller hockey rinks I've ever seen in a, in a public park before, so that's cool. Uh, there's my wife, uh, say hello to her. Uh, it's also got some baseball fields, a huge playground area for the kids and uh, the parachutist uh, sky people <laughs> love to hang out on the back mountain on this park which is kind of cool to see. Uh, there's some stats on me and my wife so you can sort of keep these in mind as you watch us uh, play today to kind of calibrate what you see with uh, how you play. But first things first, where is Benicia Community Park? Uh, Benicia is in Northern California in uh, the Bay Area as we say. Uh, it's uh, just off the freeway on um, 780, so it's uh, pretty easy to find. Uh, in a second here, we'll, we'll stop the map, and essentially what you'll be doing is you'll be coming in into the top side of this map, and uh, you're in a park right about there, and then hop out and head down the way to the park. And as you see, the, the disc course covers the whole back side of the park, so it covers quite a bit of terrain. There's the map of the park. Uh, there's a number, there's uh, multiple tees on several holes, um, but also um, some that just have a single tee. Uh, this is the practice area as we head over to the course. And uh, this is the look at the uh, playground area where the, the kids will very likely be when you come out. Um, okay, so we're going to pause here for just a second. Because uh, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, um, first, thank you. Um, but second, this one's going to be a little bit different uh, because of a few things. Uh, well, first thing is the uh, course crew decided to uh, give themselves a Christmas present, as I understand it, and they put in a bunch of ace runs all over the course uh, over the holidays. So uh, we went out and played the course a couple of times in those conditions, which you'll see in the video. Um, but I also wanted to sort of come back a third time and shoot the course when the baskets were in kind of more of the normal positions. So you get a sense of, of the course um, in both styles. Uh, so you're going to see a couple of things. You'll see the baskets moving around, of course, in the video. Uh, the other thing you're going to see is that the weather's going to change pretty, pretty dramatically. It was like overcast the first two times we went, and then on the third trip it was quite sunny. So if you notice the, the video changing, um, that's why. Um, and the third thing that's going to be a little bit odd about this video is some, some strange things occurred to me personally on this trip. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, but with the warning out of the way, we'll get back to it. Alright, so you're cruising down the hill. Oh, I forgot to mention there's bocce courts there as well. Um, but you're going to come down this path here, and then what we're going to come to is the, the one long. And just a heads up on some of these long T positions, they're not really marked. So you kind of have to look at the map and um, use your best judgment. But uh, one long is going to be right about where this last tree is. So and there's going to be three positions on the map, and then these new ace runs that they put in on, on this trip. Uh, anything past the, the path is OB, uh, so you will want to pay attention to that because uh, it's quite easy to do on, on this hole. And then when I come up here to, to one short, you see our first sign. As you can see, the, the three main positions are going to be on the map, but as I mentioned, the fun little ace runs are uh, not on the map yet, uh, but you'll get to see uh, uh, all of those in this video for the most part. And here's my wife uh, taking aim at that first ace run and just parking it <laughs> so uh, she's very excited about that shot um, but yeah we'll head down here take a look at the first ace run we'll head on past it and we'll get a look at the kind of the three uh, back positions here there's the first two kind of lined up and then the one kind of up on the hill and here's my wife bagging her first birdie and we're gonna head up the hill to the right to too long uh, this is actually a really fun shot uh, is pretty much just bomb it over those trees on the right side and bring it back uh, to one of the positions or if it's in that ace run position uh, you're going to want to try to shoot that tunnel uh, and you're going to watch me um, just I didn't quite throw this quite hard enough uh, it's actually in the back position when we filmed this video so I came up just a little bit short um, the other thing to, to keep in mind is anything outside of the grass area is considered OB, as you see on the sign. It's kind of hard to go OB, quite frankly, but um, uh, it is technically doable. Uh, but down here, you're looking at tunnel shots all the way around, regardless of where the, the basket is. So this is another kind of fun little shot where you're 
kind of wanting it to kind of drift left to right, uh, usually down into one of these positions uh, on the right here. Uh, all three of which are in this valley. Uh, this first one right here is the one I was firing at from the top of the hill. And we have one in the back right, right there. And then we'll swing around to the one in the back left. And then we're gonna head hard left across the road to roughly about where I think too long is. <laughs> it's where I've seen people play it, so hopefully this is about accurate. Um, I don't know which lines you're supposed to shoot these baskets from over here because the trees are obviously in the way. The ones on the left are fairly obvious, but the ones on the right, I'm not sure where they want you to throw those, so do your best. Uh, but three uh, is pretty more straightforward. It's uh, tunnel shots all the way around again. Uh, and why do I say tunnel shots all the way around is because there's a double mando on this one. So you do need to pay attention to that. You're also throwing uh, quite a bit uphill, so however hard you think you need to throw it, throw it harder. Because <laughs> it is uphill uh, pretty steeply. Uh, so we're going to walk past the, the ace run here again and head up to this far position up on top here. And then we will hang a left and come back down the hill to the next position. And then we'll finish up with the one towards the bottom here is this one here and then we're gonna hang a hard right up the path all the way to the top of the hill for four long another really fun shot um, the wind is usually coming at you for this shot so it is it is much deeper than it looks and it's really easy to turn things over into that valley on the right so um, you're gonna watch me throw something very conservative <laughs> and it's uh, probably a little too conservative I kind of skipped it across the, the path there a little bit more than I wanted. Uh, my wife's going to have kind of a better line on it. Hers is going to come back to the middle. Uh, but yeah, a really fun shot. You just have to be careful. And now we're going to go back to where we started and we're going to hang a left to get over to, um, you know, four short, which is right here. Look for the crack in the road. That's kind of your indication. Um, these are all kind of soft uh, left to right shots. Uh, because, uh, which you'll see in a second here, is that tree just on your right there is a mando. Um, so everything needs to go left. And remember that path I kind of skipped the disc across? That's considered OB from down here. So that makes this hole kind of interesting when you're throwing up at um, the two back positions on the right. Uh, but this one is, is fairly straightforward. Just, you know, don't be long, obviously. But there's one in the back left there, and then we'll hang a right to the other one on the back right. And so you see that path comes into play. So this one gets a little bit tricky. Um, but when you're done there, you're gonna head to the left and then walk down the path a ways to roughly where I think five long is. Um, this is a, gets a little bit tricky with this shot just because of the dog park, which we'll get a, a closer look at. Um, yeah, dogs are OB and it's gonna come into play. You'll get a better look at it on this shot. So you see the, the dog run is, or excuse me, the dog park is on the left there in the corner of it just juts out into this uh, this hole a little bit. So on this hole, it's not such a big deal. You're pretty much either throwing kind of straight or something soft right to left. So it's kind of hard to get it into the dog park. Um, but uh, we're gonna see my wife here kind of park the ace run once again. So another nice shot from her. Um, but yeah, when you're back in the back there, that this corner thing could come into play corner of this dog park so you want to pay attention to that and just keep things straight or left or, or excuse me or right uh, this position here it is is kind of is a fun one I've bounced it off the top of this basket a couple of times uh, for an ace and then there's the two on the hill there and then we're gonna hang a hard left over towards the dog park and then you'll see this T on the ground and that is for number six long um, and the tree straight ahead is more in the way than you think and you're also throwing uphill for almost every shot so you will want to uh, give it a good throw uh, to get it get it up there and then keep going around to the left and you come to six short and I'm gonna pause here again well actually first I'll take a look at the horse the course so uh, you're pretty much throwing straight uphill either something straight or something soft uh, kind of left to right for that right position uh, now I'm going to pause here and once again uh, I'm going to promise you that everything you're about to see actually happened uh, in real time. There's no trickery, no uh, uh, no, no cubby action, none of that. Um, so what you're about to see actually happened. 
Um, so we'll fire away here and let you watch at it and, and I'll be quiet. For a moment, speculate, shall we? This is the key shot. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. But someday, somewhere, someone may find out the damn truth. We better. We better, or we might just as well build ourselves another government. All right. Hopefully, I don't get letters for that. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, that all actually happened. <laughs> so, all you can do is laugh and uh, hope the disc gods are good to you the next time. Uh, but way up the hill here, take a look at that acquisition straight up the hill, and then uh, one over on the left there, and then the one in the back here. And then we're going to hang a right and go up to the top of the hill, over to the right a little bit, uh, do your best to kind of guess <laughs> roughly around where Seven Long is. I'm not 100% sure where this one is. I know it's about here. Uh, again, the winds usually come in left to right here, so this position, this position, even though it's not too far away from Seven Short, ends up being uh, a more difficult shot because you're usually throwing straight into the wind. Uh, but this one, seven short, you're pretty much going uh, perpendicular to the wind, so you're, it's a, an easier shot. Not that it's easy, but you know it's, it's much easier uh, than throwing straight into the wind. All of them are basically uh, straight ahead, as you can see here, throwing down in the valley. And here's my wife taking aim at the, the ace run again, and trickles another one up in there. So she's very excited. <laughs> so am I. Um, but yeah, this is a fun little shot, um, and uh, by the way, shout out to Tim Steele um, while, when I, while I'm thinking about it, because he's responsible for getting this course off the ground, so it was a big shout to him, and I also want to give a shout out to uh, the next tees up on the hiller, um, to the goats that came out here and cleaned this all up, <laughs> so whoever brought the goats, thank you, because this got a lot cleaner, and there's my wife, another birdie, she's excited. Um, I forgot to film the walk up to the next tee on number eight, so my bad on that one. Um, but you saw it in the background there. It's just a short walk away. Um, this uh, hole goes from being uh, relatively hard if it's up on that hill on the left to being really hard if it's on the other side. Um, so I got this just a little bit too low, so it's not as high as I wanted it to be. Otherwise, it would have kind of skipped up a little closer to the basket on the top of the hill, which is the one I'm throwing at in that particular shot. Obviously on this shot we're looking at the ace run, but we'll walk up to the top here and that's the position I was referring to. And then the other two positions are on the back side of this hill, which if you look at the sign you can kind of take your pick on which one you want to throw at because that one sometimes is in place, but this one down here is, is always in. So there's always two baskets in on this hole. Um, and then you, know, you walk straight down the hill to nine long. Uh, it's unclear if the road is OB on 9 long. Um, I, I think that'd be kind of mean if it is, but um, it's definitely OB on 9 short, uh, which you'll see here on the sign. Um, so uh, take your pick. Uh, if you want to make it OB, um, I, I, it's up to you. <laughs> so, all right, so 9 short, uh, lots of tunnel shots here. Um, uh, I just want to pause here and say, that uh, the disc golf gods found pity on me. Oh, <laughs> you finally aced it! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good job, it stayed man. In. 
<laughs> yeah, so obviously very cool. Uh, got uh, got a little bit of of, uh, of assistance from the disc gods to get back some of that pain from earlier. Um, also, that was only my third ace in my career, by the way. So uh, it was pretty cool to catch that on video. Uh, but yeah, back positions are here. Um, fun little tunnel shot to finish out your day. And that's it. That's Benicia. So a cool little park. Um, here's the, the skate park, which I failed to mention earlier, but always a lot of kids out on the park here. It's a pretty nice skate park. Um, but yeah, Benicia, uh, fun little park. Obviously, uh, it'll be quite memorable for me. Uh, but yeah, come check it out. And as always, uh, thank you for watching.